All right, we are here today in Rhode Island, and I have got some great stories to tell you from Rhode Island. So, uh, the Rhode Island legislature approved the creation of the first Rhode Island Regiment, which was intended to be a regiment for um, black patriots, for patriots of color, to uh, sign up and join and fight for not only their freedom, but for the freedom of our country. Um, this regiment was initially uh, segregated. They had certain, um, certain of the companies were all black and certain were all white. But uh, as, as the war progressed, they became actually integrated together and became one of the first uh, integrated army units in the, in the Continental Army or in our American Army. Great story there. Uh, this, um, the, the 1st Rhode Island Regiment served in uh, the attack, at least part of them served in the attack on readout number 10 at Yorktown under, uh, under Alexander Hamilton, taking that uh, readout of the British, which forced the surrender of Yorktown and the end of the Revolutionary War. This Rhode Island Regiment participated in that, along the, uh, the uh, black soldiers and the white soldiers. Uh, there was an officer in this regiment, his name was William Barton. He was a major at the time. Some accounts you'll read say that he was a lieutenant colonel, but that promotion came later. He was actually a major at the time this raid took place, but there was a daring raid that Colonel Barton led with a number of his men from this regiment, black and white. Uh, earlier, General Charles Lee had been captured by the British. Charles Lee was the second in command, basically, under Washington in the Continental Forces. And so at the time, um, the, the different warring parties would stage a, an exchange of high-ranking officers, right? So if you had one of their high-ranking officers and they had one of yours, you could exchange them. Problem was the Americans didn't have any high-ranking British officers at the time to exchange for Lee. And so this William Barton came up with a plan. There was a, a British officer named uh, Prescott, Richard Prescott, who was here in Rhode Island. And... Um, so William Barton came up with a plan to take some boats, go out on a, hopefully a moonless night, <laughs> and come around on this uh, manor or fort, wherever uh, Prescott was, and infiltrate the fort and take Prescott, kidnap him basically, take him off so that they can exchange him for Charles Barton. So they they do just that. They, um, they're able to infiltrate this fort by sea and get up to the room where Barton was, or sorry, where uh, they get up to the room where Richard Prescott was, but the door's locked and it's a big heavy door. <laughs> they didn't think it'd bring a battering ram, I guess. So there was one of the black patriots that was with them was named Jack Sisson. And this man was large of stature and uh, very strong. He put his shoulder down, ran right into the door, popped that thing open. They were able to uh, burst in and take the, the British officer, finish their mission, and exchange him for Charles Lee. This couldn't have happened without Jack Sisson being there to just show these guys how you do it, how, how you bust open a door. <laughs> it was that simple. So some great stories from Rhode Island, great stories about patriots of all backgrounds working together to bring about the freedom and liberty that you and I share today. And I leave you this from this beautiful spot in the state of Rhode Island. We'll see you next time.